After a fierce battle in Wano and defeating Kato and Big Mom, Law, Luffy, and Kid decided to leave the island and went on their separate route. Law took the northeast route, Luffy took the southeast route, and Kid went to the east route. Kid pirates eventually reached an island. Tan Killer said, Kid, wake up! We're near land! Should we go look around? And Kid replied, Are you really asking that? When have I ever passed on exploring an island? Killer responded, I know, but this island is probably the home of the giants, Elbaf. And Boy looks excited knowing that this island is the Elbaf. A bar at small port in the island, we heard a kid screaming asking to take him, but the guy whose face is not shown replied, There's no way I'd bring a hot-headed kid like you, and we saw that the guy talking was no other than Red Hair Shanks. It was the Red Hair Pirates. Rockstar shouted, Boss! That bastard actually attacking us! Then Shanks replied and telling that they are just about to set off, and he don't know if this is good or bad thing. And Shanks continues and said, Guess I lost track of time catching up with everyone. Can't be helped when you suddenly come across old friends you thought were dead. And the boy was. Seems excited when he asked if Shanks will going to fight. And Ben tells Shanks that it is not good to make your enemy wait. But Lucky Roo laughed, and telling that their enemy is only mad at Ben. And Yasup asked Shanks if they are really going to sail. And Shanks said, let's sail. Shanks even mentioned that he would never let the island to become a war zone and cause any major trouble. And he said, Hey, Dory, Brogy, can you lend me a hand? And we found out that Shanks are actually in Elbuff Island, and Kid Pirates are the one attacking them. Shanks order Rockstar to relay his message to Kid, tell him he has a choice. Either hand over the copy of his load Poneglyph and his Scram, Oregon, he can risk fighting me. The scene shifted to the sea, where Kid seeing attacking some ships near the seashore. Those ships belongs to the allied pirates of Shanks. Killer said, Every one of them seems like a big shot, and Killer continues. Last time it was completely one-sided. They took your arm before we even got a glimpse of Red Hair himself. They won't settle for an arm this time, they'll take your life instead. And Kid laughed. Ha ha ha, only if I lose. And we saw Shanks and his crew walking toward the port. And we hear some comrades of Shanks asking why Kid Pirates are there and said, Have you come for our beloved chief? And we saw the names of the allied pirates of the Red Hair Pirates currently fighting with Kid Pirates. They are Padded Toe Garatini, Captain of Puddle Pirates, Grave Tooth Fuger, Captain of Social Club Pirates, and Panicky Peruru, Captain of Bourgeoisie. Kid looks like disgusted with these pirates and said, What the hell? Are the Jokers really with Red Hair? This is supposed to be the New World? But Killer tells Kid not to lower his guard. They got some big name with them. The Shanks arrived at the battlefield and order his allied pirates to retreat. Shanks is about to set sail, but Kid just showed up and now he got to deal with them. And his allied pirates laughed and said, The real reason you have to deal with him is because we are weak. Everyone laughed about it and continues, A bunch of us wouldn't have lived this long if it weren't for your protection. And Lucky Roo tells Shanks that let them handle Kid instead of him. But Shanks said not to underestimate Kid since he's worth three billion berries after all. Shanks asked Yasup if Kid already healed from his previous battle with Big Mom and Kato, and Yasup replies, He looks lively enough and he seems up for a fight. And Shanks asked if they got any news about Blackbeard. Shanks was expecting Blackbeard to show his face in Wano, and Shanks found out that Kid is from South Blue, and the scene went to the Kid Pirates. Kid asked Killer if how many ships are there, and Killer replied, Nine, and there's a plenty of faces I recognized from the bounty poster on them. But Kid was unfazed. He's preparing to attack now. And Kid started using his devil fruit power. He's trying to pull the ships with his magnet devil fruit. Shanks' face suddenly changed and everyone was shocked when Shanks suddenly jumped in. What's going on, chief? This is bad. Get all the ships to move aside now, Shanks said furiously. He even ordered Dory and Brogy to get on position. He's about to do some serious damage, Shanks explained. And Ben said, Sounds like you've seen a hell of a future. The reason why Shanks suddenly gets serious is because he saw through his observation hockey the terrible damage and casualty if he let Kid throws his devastating attack. He saw some ships are terribly damaged. And Shanks said, as expected. Shanks suddenly jumped in front of Kid. Kid was surprised. And Shanks attacks Kid using the divine departure coded by Conqueror's hockey. We saw some of Kid crew falls unconscious. 
This attack is same attack used by Roger that sends Odin flying. Kid was hit terribly. He was unconscious and we saw blood spurt from Kid. Kid crew was shocked and they screamed, Captain, and we saw Kid and Killer Falls and unconscious. And the remaining member of the Kid pirates begged and said, Red hair, we surrender. Please have mercy. Don't kill our captain. And they give their copies of load poneglyphs. And suddenly, Broggy and Droggy is preparing to attack. Hey, little people, if you're going to point a cannon at someone's home, you'd better be ready for when they fight back and the two giants unleashed a powerful attack, the Hakoku sovereignty on Kid Pirate's ship, and the ship was totally wrecked and destroyed. And the narrator said, On this day in the New World by Elbaf, the Kid Pirate crew led by Eustace Captain Kid, a man worth three billion, was completely eradicated. Is this...